Which one? Though? Like yeah, you got one. So let's uh, let, let's hear from everybody about uh, their, their table's favorite idea. So what do you got? Free post high school education in their college or job training. Right on. Okay. 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 So did you did you put a dollar amount on it? Yep. Okay. And what was your conversation about how that would impact uh, people of color and women? Did you think about that piece of it much? Not really. It's okay. Yeah. They could come out of school prepared to go to work. Yes. Yeah. Be productive. Yes. yes. They come out with a That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was a vocational teacher constantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No kidding. So okay. You know what? I feel like I should be writing these down. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put them over here. So can you say say it one more time? And I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little list here for myself for later. So uh, you, you went for the whole gamut. You went for free post high school. Okay. Either college or job training for everyone with free childcare. Yeah. One one of my favorite things to remind people is that um, so sometimes you might hear something like oh sure thank you. Where did you come from? One of my favorite things to remind people <laughs> on this is that um, that you might hear somebody say something like uh, free post high school uh, you know opportunities or free childcare, and you think like that is pie in the sky, totally crazy. We cannot have that. Yeah. And then you look around, and there's actually like big chunks of the world that do this already. Yes. And then there are places like, for instance, uh, it's the other end of the spectrum, but with uh, pre-K access, universal uh, child care access, where there are a number of states that have implemented that uh, here, you know, here in the United States. So uh, <laughs> I, I like the big thinking. And I, did I already asked you, did, did you all put a number to that? Okay, so this is part of the fun then. I'll have to go back and do some calculations. And maybe what I'll do is I can email Rachel. My colleague and I really like to do this to figure out what hypothetical things would cost. I bet you that would be a surprisingly affordable in the scheme of other things that we do. So I'll, I'll, I'll that's here. I'll make that commitment right now. Whatever you, the best ideas from the the commit, the each table. I'll come back to you and tell you what my guesstimate is on what it'll cost. Okay. Uh, so uh, anybody? I think always to the left. So I'll go your left. Okay. Here we go. Well, we we talked a lot about education. Um, yeah. And how in the state of Ohio, our our funding is completely backwards. Um, it was it was noted by John. Thanks. It was noted by John that our our own um, Congress has ruled our funding. Supreme Court. Thank you. Yeah, the government um, uh, ruled it in unconstitutional, mm -hmm. and it's. Multiple times we have mm -hmm. openly said, yes, we know it's screwed up, we need to fix mm -hmm. it. But no one has taken the steps to fix it. And through the equality of education, I think that it will directly impact um, women and people of color. Because the poverty line is, is really the direct correlation to educational resources and educational opportunities. And if we can if we can take out the hills and the, the jagged chasms of the poverty line and bring some equality to you know that side of life, then I think educational well I know it's driving crazy. Yes. I think education will balance out. Um, and unfortunately for not only women but um, single parents, when you look at the higher education, the the child care is to piggyback and support them 